welcome to February, and welcome to Paramount's Move of the Week. So now we're actually going to start with some aerial silt moves. This is the first month we're showing you some moves, so I guess it's appropriate that we show you some beginner moves, first of all. Um, with the, the beginner moves, especially the way that we teach it at Paul Paradise Studio, is that we like to teach all of the moves using an egg knot in the silks. The egg knot allows you to stand in the silks, um, to be within the silks, while you're trying different poses and maneuvering from one move into the other while being able to stay in the silks. What this does is it helps to build up your stamina, your strength, um, so that you can you know, build up the necessary muscles as well. So it seems fitting that we first of all show you how to tie your own egg knot, and then I'm going to show you your very first pose, which is going to be called the triangle pose. So I'll show you how to tie your own egg knot first. With the silks together, because obviously there are two, remember it is only one silk, but coiled around the uh, rescue eight comes down into silks here. So with the silks on the inside of your elbow, you're going to rotate your arm all the way around and up. So it's up and around the silks. As you can see, it's snaking around my arm. I'm going to take the tail into that same hand, just there. So I'm holding it. And around my arm now, I have what I call a bracelet. So I'm just going to open up the bracelet a little bit and pull my hand through, which was holding the tail. Here it is. And you're just going to, at the top, just push down on the knot just to make it a little bit tighter. It's always good to be on the safe side, so make sure that the silk part that you pulled out, or I like to call it a bit of a noose, the noose is at least one hand width wide, uh, long, I should say. Not smaller, but this is your egg knot. It's not going to come out unless you were to pull the tail. So I'll show you. Just pull that out. That will release the egg knot. So I'm going to do it one more time, a little bit lower, so it's easier for me to step inside. So I'll show you once again. Silks on the inside of the elbow, arm goes up and around, put the tail in the same hand, open the bracelet, pull it through, and just push down on the top. Here's your egg knot. So we're going to get inside the silks. Opening them up, I'm going to place one foot into the silk, reach my hands up, pull, and stand. Okay? Now, when you're standing in the silks, you know, you want to be able to let go of your hands so that you can maneuver into different positions. So you want your body to just ever so slightly lean forward. You can feel the tension of the silks in, in the front of your armpits. You definitely do not want to lean back. Bad idea. So always just gently leaning forward. So I'm also standing on one foot. Doesn't matter which foot. You know, practice both feet. Generally, most people will stand with one foot because if you stand with two, you kind of feel quite squished together, not very comfortable. So I'm going to show you the pose, the triangle pose. Here it is. And we're going to slide slowly and gently to the center. Be careful about sliding. You want to prevent silk burn. So it's a very controlled return of the feet back to the center. Now to show you that move once again, I'm going to lift up one foot. Keeping the silks underneath my foot. I'm going to reach up nice and high because the higher I lift my foot, the wider I'm going to go. My hands reach up. I'm going to pull with my arms, push with my leg, and slide the other leg out. I'm going to lock my legs nice and straight. I'm just going to keep holding on with the silks for balance. And here is my triangle pose. You'll notice that my feet are at a slight angle, meaning that my baby toe is lifted up compared to my, my big toe. If you kept your foot completely level with the floor, it's more likely that the feet will slide back to the center. So having the feet upturned is a good thing for your triangle toes. So I want you to have fun practicing that. Make sure you do have a mat underneath you if you're trying these moves for the first time. A great idea to have a spotter as well to help you. Um, so we hope you enjoy practicing the triangle pose and we'll see you next week. Bye!